I welcome you in the course of leadership, emotional intelligence and decision making. This is module number 32 and we are going to talk about mindfulness potential promise for the leaders. When we talk about mindfulness, obviously this situation is going to overcome our dilemma of mindlessness and automaticity. The mindfulness training is important for the leaders to go through and in that particular training the leader would be able to overcome the leadership stress because we should understand one thing that leadership position is a tough position and the leaders are going to face a lot of stress in everyday life. The challenges, the circumstances around him are going to cause a stress of the psychological patterns in his mind. In the mindfulness training, the leader is supposed to understand the emotional reactivity. The leader is going to enhance his or her emotional intelligence and the leader is going to think in a way ke dusron ke jo halat aur vaqiyat hain dusron ke jo jazbaat hain dusron ke jo emotions hain unko usne kis tarah se tackle karna hai the third thing in the mindfulness training is basically focusing upon attention and on the working memory because ek leader ke liye ye zaruri hoga ke wo apne aspects ko perspectives ko circumstances ko behtar taur par understand kare aur zehen mein rakhe un tamam baaton ko jo effect kar sakti hain uske aane wale halat ko isi ke sath sath the leader needs to develop the perceptual capability the perceptual skill and the cognition ke kon kon se aise aspects hain jo uske belief set ko effect wo kar rahe hain because uski values uske beliefs obviously uski decision making ke upar asar andaaz wo ho rahe honge so in the mindfulness training the leader goes through these points secondly in the mindfulness training the leader is taught that the leader is trained that how to develop and show and demonstrate empathy and as you all know the empathy is basically taking care of the other people putting yourself in others shoe so your empathy would be the focus point when we talk about mindfulness training secondly the decision making capability of the leader would be enhanced in those training sessions and that leader would be more conscious in his or her everyday patterns. The third thing which we have to focus upon during the mindfulness training is related to the innovation capability that the leader should be coming up with innovative perspectives, the leader should be coming up with new inventions which could be commercialized, the leader should be coming up with the creative ideas. So, uski empathy, uski decision making or uski innovation ye teen major capabilities hain jo us mindfulness training mein hum incorporate karenge. Ab jab hum ne stress ko manage karna hai in terms of leadership concern to yaad rakhye ga ke leader goes through a lot of stress because uski upar situation ka stress bhi hai, organization ka overall stress bhi hai, followers ki needs, wants, expectations ka stress bhi hai. So, leader needs to understand his or her stress level or phir us stress ko manage kaise karna hai that is something which leader needs to learn in those mindfulness training sessions. The second thing is that sometimes leader goes through inherent loneliness because leader or follower ki jab hum baat karte hain to leader ko hum alien kar dete hain separate kar dete hain follower se aur wo cheez leader ko ek feeling of loneliness mein wo le jati hai. Sometimes leaders feel as if that they are alone in the whole problem and there are no person, there are no people who are going to support him or her by any means because wo ek leader ki haisiyat mein hai aur as a leader hum usko superlative degrees mein wo pohuncha dete hai. Isi ke saath saath the stress of leadership mein there are sometimes ambiguities of authority. Sometimes there are role overlaps sometimes job descriptions proper tarike se elaborated nahi hoti sometimes responsibilities shared or discussed nahi hoti isse kya hoga the leader would be having ambiguities of authority usko empty empowerment ke bare mein complete information wo nahi hoti 
so that would be increasing the stress level related to the leader and the fourth aspect which the leader needs to go through is basically related to the mindfulness practice because us mindfulness practice ko kiye bagair wo apne us stress of leading ko overcome wo nahi kar payega natijatan hamare samne do tarah ki situations aa sakti hain which are taken up as adaptive challenges the situation can be related to eu stress or it can be related to distress when we talk about eu stress it means positive stress ek aisa stress jo aapko motivation deta hai aapki performance ko behtar karta hai aapko emotional well being ki taraf lekar jata hai basically eu stress se aap apni drive of energy hasil karte ho aap apni motivation ko increase kar pate ho aap apne internal triggers ko wo pehchan pate ho aur unse aapki karkardagi wo behtar se behtar wo hoti chali jati hai jiske baraks agar wo stress ek had se bad gaya to it would be taking up the shape of distress that distress would result into job burnout that distress would result into mental strain aur in negative aspects ke hone ki wajah se is negative stress ki wajah se the person might be feeling fatigue may suffer from cancer afterwards uski heart disease diabetes obesity and digestive disorder ye tamam wo problems ho sakti hain ek leader ke sath jab wo stress ko ek limit se zyada absorb karna shuru kar dega agar hum apni sari baat ko conclude kare to yaad rakhiye ke mindfulness training mein leader ko is baat ka khayal rakhna hai ke wo apne conscious mind ko activate kare वो अपने अनकॉन्शियस माइंड प्रोसेसेस को ओवरकम कर सके और साथ ही साथ इस बात का ख्याल रखे कि द पर्सन शुड नॉट बी टेकन अप विद अ बिगर लेवल ऑफ हायर लेवल ऑफ स्ट्रेस बिकॉज उस हायर लेवल ऑफ स्ट्रेस से एक लीडर की कैपेबिलिटीज वो कंप्रोमाइज हो जाती हैं थैंक यू